very intense uh, conditions. When you're over the fire, it's going to be a lot worse than it is, say, right here. Thick smoke continues to blanket the Okanagan Valley, and as annoying as it can be for our health, it's a whole lot worse for pilots' visibility, especially the ones face-to-face -to -face fighting wildfires. Well, the smoke kind of puts you into a position where you're flying in braille a little bit more than the visual rules. Uh, you're still supposed to, if you're flying visual, you're supposed to keep the terrain and other things in, in sight and use that as your primary reference. But as you've seen when we were up at, uh, at 10 or 11 or 12,000 feet, that, that reference doesn't really exist that clearly. So essentially we were using some of the instruments as a cross-reference for the train. When you're actioning the fires, certainly adds some challenge to it. And, and I mean, today's technology gives us a little bit better moving maps and things like that in the air crafts. However, it's still your, most of those aircraft are visual rules as well. You have to be very aware of um, other traffic because they can just come out of the uh, out of the smoke. You put on lots of lights, you use, try to make your aircraft very visible. The heat, um, it, uh, as far as the engine management goes, we have to climb out at a, a higher airspeed and a lower uh, nose attitude to get more engine cooling because it's all air cooled and try to avoid prolonged climbs for instance, because it heats the engine up. All we can do is hope is that the smoke clears so that visibility gets a little clearer up there. For Castanet News, I'm Chantal Deacon in Vernon.